Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching another motivational cleaning video. Today I'm taking you along with us as we unpack, clean, organize, and we do add a touch of decorating to our kitchen and dining room. We do have a tad bit smaller kitchen area for all of our things, but I'm excited to share how we are getting our kitchen organized and set up. We have made so much progress since being here and I'm really excited all the things are coming together. So I really hope you guys enjoy today's video and it motivates you to tackle your to-do list and get it all done. If you are new here and you enjoy motivation like this, I would love for you to consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of our future uploads. We are a busy family of five and here on my channel, I share what it's like getting all the things done as a working wife and mother. Today my main goal was not only to clean, but also create those spaces in our kitchen that puts us at an advantage to tackle the day in here, as well as decorating our space with decor that we pulled out of our storage spaces during the moving process. It really has been a joy finding decor that we bought years ago and I just get the dust off and reuse because it makes my heart happy. Some things I bought whenever I wanted to like revamp our kitchen at the other space, so I'm happy to be reusing that. And some of the decor is some things that my mom got me, so I'm excited to be adding a touch of her throughout our home too so I really hope you guys just enjoy it because I enjoy watching it back and just seeing all of the decor pieces go up and the kitchen and dining room really come together we still have a few other things that we're going to get here in the future but for now it's all good As you guys can see, we just had a crazy load of boxes in our kitchen and it was just really imperative that this night I really got some things done and organized. It was our first night here. The kids were all wound up with meeting new friends in the area as well as getting moved in in general. So we wanted to have a quiet night and once dinner was over and the kitchen was done, we got just that. So a little behind the scenes moment you guys I found organizing our kitchen to be so challenging I honestly want to stop and sit down so many times 
not only because of the lack of walking space with the boxes but also because we had so many things that we had space for in our other kitchen when it came to storage bins and things like that that I got scared upon putting some of our things away I started with the canned goods because we had so many and I wanted them to be somewhere I knew I would look and grab and we didn't have a pantry area but I'll share later how I managed to whip up a few spaces to get it all put away even with our storage bins It did help a lot on this day that I labeled the boxes and put contents down, but organizing it all today was still challenging. I also want to take everything out of the boxes to view it all at a glance once I put the canned goods away. However, I knew that that would have overwhelmed me in this space, so I worked box by box and started with the things I felt were most important to us to have out in the case that I didn't finish. Some of the minor things have been put away earlier this day too, so if you see me moving things around, that's why. I really wanted to organize our spices with the first row being our bulk spices that we tend to grab on a daily basis, biggest in the back and smallest in the front. On the middle shelf, I organize our spices by category and color, the same way biggest in the back and vice versa. The top shelf was just all of our sauces, some condiments, and also cooking sprays. The cabinet above the dishwasher is where we keep all of our plates, bowls, and cups. At first I thought it was too small of a space, but it really does hold everything that we need and I'm so happy. I originally wanted to add our coffee cups too, but I've since come up with a handy countertop shelf so we could create a cute cafe station for ourselves.
When I was putting all of our bacon things away, I originally put them in a cabinet on the right side of the stove, but I had to open up that space and use it for other things, so I moved our bacon things to the bottom of our stove. I've actually never kept anything down there and used it for storage, but we used it this time and it really did help out with space. We didn't have much of a pantry to work with, so I put our baking supplies or ingredients, as you would say, on the right side of our stove. Our box side items are in there as well, and it was just really a perfect fit. I was surprised. Since we were unpacking and cleaning other areas in our home tonight, we wanted to do something super easy for dinner. Jacqueline went ahead and picked up a lasagna from Walmart, so we popped it in the oven and it was ready in no time. The kids loved it, so we enjoyed that for dinner on our first night, and we also enjoyed watching Stuart Little, and the kids had so much fun. I enjoyed it because we really did have our peace and quiet. So in the cabinet on the right side of the sink, I wanted to use this space for our storage bins that were once in our pantry. I was really nervous because downsizing meant getting rid of a lot, and honestly, we really did spend a good grip on all of our storage bins, so I didn't want to lose them. The shelves in the cabinet were placed different, so I was able to add all the storage bins I needed that once held all of our pantry items, and once I was done, I had felt like I accomplished so much.
On the left side of our stove, I added some more cooking things and also most of the kids microwavable lunches and some snacks. We like to keep certain things at their level so they can feel independent and grab things when they're hungry too. We do make sure that they have their three meals and three snacks, but sometimes these babies can eat us out of a home if we let them. So they know that this is all they can get aside from what we make and when we give it to them. And with school and things like that, they do have other meals and things, so they don't even grab as much stuff as we think that they do, but we still like to have this set up for them. I did pick up a few things from the Dollar Tree. We needed a few things for our kitchen that we noticed we didn't have when we wanted to cook certain meals. It's really self-explanatory, but we got some extra spoons, plastic containers, floor cleaner, kitchen utensils, along with baby wipes and toilet paper. Just some small things to help us get by on the first night. And of course, we did go ahead and just grab a few extra items because who doesn't look like go a little dollar crazy at the Dollar Tree? I know I do. Making dinner is a little bit different here because we can't really see one another and I really love that about this space. Not the fact that we can't see one another but the fact that the space is like cut off and I get to be in my own world and listen to music and not bother anyone. I might just do what my mom does and just get me a tablet so I can watch my favorite cooking shows and also listen to music while I'm in here. But here lately we've been eating while watching TV in the living room until we get our new table. We are going for a pub style table and so far we haven't found any luck besides on overstock. So we may stick with that route since we've had like experience with them before. So I'm excited about that and I'll share that with you guys when the time comes.
You got that something that can't be seen. You got that one thing that's hard to come by. It's not your styling, it's not your jeans. No, what you got is deeper within. And your friends don't even know what you got. They just hang with you because you earn a lot. You should lose them on the side hanging with me. Because I'm the only one who can see. I don't need your dreamy eyes, your dreamy eyes. No, I don't need your pretty smile, your pretty smile. No, I just want your perfect mind, your perfect mind. The next day we wanted to tackle adding some decor to the kitchen and a dining area. We had to use the last few boxes of decor to put out so we wanted to get it done but we also wanted to put up our new calendar so that's what sparked us adding decor today. It really turned out so well it most definitely is serving its purpose as of right now. We will be tweaking things as we go just to open up the space and bring it together.
in our dining room we added some decor that we already had we moved the mirror we once had in our dining area to the wall space beside the dining room it just makes the space feel a lot bigger we do have our shelf holding our microwave but i do want to get a microwave stand that's shorter just to open up the space and get rid of this shelf since we do have shelves in the dining area i'm really excited to see it all come together though and it will slowly but surely Before we add any decor to our kitchen, I wanted to just go ahead and knock out the dishes that we had, and then I also wanted to tackle a few of my cleaning tasks for the day, just before we get any decor hung up, because I just wanted to get the full experience of seeing our kitchen clean and decorated, so I can just feel good on the inside. While I was doing our dishes, I couldn't help but think that the sink that we have here is my favorite sink that we have had seriously ever, you guys. It's not super deep and doesn't hold a lot of dishes, but I really don't mind that. It has all the qualities that I've always wanted, starting with the faucet and then the sink itself is next on the list. It isn't that white cast iron sink that we had and honestly, I just really hated that sink. It got marked up so fast and was just so hard to keep clean, so I'm really happy to just I'm really happy with the sink that we have and the faucet and all the other qualities about it. It really makes me happy. Since moving in, because it has been a while now, our routine has been a little more than it was before. We have so much more traffic now throughout our home with the space being smaller that we have to pick up more often and deep clean more often than we ever have. Our dishwasher has been full all times of the day. It's smaller, so that's expected, but we do end up washing dishes now more often as well. Oh, and while we are here in the kitchen, I just wanted to let you guys know where our cake stand is from. I get so many questions about this all the time, and I think we picked this up from Marshalls for about $10. It was really cheap. I really love it. It's actually very durable for it to be so cheap, but I really love it. I want to go there and get some more kitchen things, but that's another story for a different day, but that's where we got the cake stand from.
if you guys remember in my home tour video i kind of shared with you guys that i was not really all too thrilled about the electric stove that we have but whenever jake went to the dollar tree he picked me up like some electric stove top covers and y'all it made my day these are so cute i just love whenever they are on the stove because it just makes it pop and just brings out the color in their life i was so happy when he got those y'all Oh, and as you guys can see, we do have white cabinets again, and I am so thrilled that we do not have brown cabinets because I was not a huge fan. However, to keep it moving and keep it pushing, I am using our Mrs. Meyer Multi-Surface Cleaner in the scent Lemon Verbana to clean basically everything in our kitchen, our cabinets, or just everything, you guys. It smells so good, and I haven't yet found what I want to use on like an everyday basis for our granite. If you guys have any suggestions, leave them down in the comments comments because I know that there are certain things that you can use. I am going to be using my vinegar mix again as well but for now I just have the Mrs. Meyer cleaner and I was so happy with how everything smelled once I was done. Today we also wanted to finish our calendar area. With Jake and I both so busy now between us and the kids, we are always on the run. And until we got this calendar, we both relied on each other so much to remember so much. And it was causing us to literally bicker back and forth when we missed events or were just late somewhere because we didn't realize how much we expected each other to remember amongst other things that we had going on. So since adding this, it has been just a huge sigh of relief because we can see what's going on at all times. Above that, we just added a super cute thankful sign that my mom got me for Christmas. She also got me two other pieces of decor for Christmas, I believe like last year, and I still have them. They are so cute, I love them. And we're just gonna be adding that to the kitchen today.
Once we managed to get the kitchen and dining room clean and decorated, I wanted to go ahead and add our nighttime cleaning routine for these areas as well. We have also moved some things around in our living room and I wanted to share that before sharing the changes that we've made with Christmas being right around the corner. One of those changes is we kind of added like an aquarium to our living room and it looks so good. It is so beautiful you guys. I absolutely love it. But I'll share that in future videos. But for tonight I'm going to clean it here and then tackle deep cleaning our floor at the end of the night. So that is the end of today's video. I really hope you guys enjoy seeing this unpack, clean, decorate, organize, and also declutter all the areas in our home today. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And without further ado, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. Unavoidable, yeah. But as long as.